Water memory and solar activity. My talk is devoted to the water memory mystery. Is water capable of memorizing the structure of dissolved biologically active compounds and retaining their biological effectiveness after dilution 10 to the 120th power times? This ability of water was published in 1988 by French scientist Benveniste and his associates. However, experimentally, this phenomenon of water still cannot be reliably confirmed because it is not always reproducible. Sometimes the experiments give positive result and sometimes negative result. On the other hand, if the water memory phenomenon can be sometimes reproduced experimentally, there should be an explanation for this. However, nobody knew the reason of this instability. No one could have imagined that the reason for such instability can be outside the Earth and the changes in solar activity can exert a strong influence on the properties of water in chemical and biochemical processes. The cause of the instability of the experimental results of the water memory phenomenon is in good agreement with another fundamental phenomenon which we recently discovered. We have found that the ability of water molecules to self-organize and the stability of water clusters strongly depends on variations of solar activity. The solar energy exerts a strong influence on the Earth. It is sufficient to say that even the earthquakes on the Earth are modulated by the sun. The solar radiation consists of electromagnetic oscillations and the so-called solar wind, which is a stream of particles, mainly electrons and protons. The electromagnetic oscillations, this is infrared light, visible light, and ultraviolet, reach the surface of the Earth and makes possible the life on it. In contrast, the solar wind is absorbed by the atmosphere and doesn't reach the surface. However, the solar wind generates in the upper atmosphere secondary particles, muons, which we have found that muons exert a strong influence on the self-organization of water molecules and can destroy water clusters. The intensity of muons flow is not stable because it also depends on solar activity. And this accounts for the instability of water memory phenomena. We have devised a method which allows measuring the influence of muons very precisely. It is shown here. On mixing water with acetonitrile, we do not receive the solution of single water molecules in acetonitrile. Instead of this, the formation of water clusters takes place. Muons destroy water clusters. Small clusters are chemically much more reactive than large ones. That is why, under the influence of muons, the same solution of water in a certain trial can, ha can have different chemical reactivity because it can consist of a small number of large clusters or large number of small clusters. To determine quantitatively the chemical reactivity of water clusters under the influence of muons proved possible by measuring the rate of hydrolysis of triethylphosphate 1 into the ethyl phosphonate 2. Triethyl phosphate either reacts quickly with large number of small clusters or reacts slowly with a small number of large clusters. 
The rate of this reaction can be quickly and accurately measured by nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. Regular measurements of the rate of hydrolysis of this reaction in a Saturday trial were started in 2015. This year was in the middle of the 11-year cycle, and the solar activity was higher. It was found that this reaction doesn't obey the law of chemical thermodynamics. At constant temperature and concentration, the rate of this reaction is highly dynamic and demonstrates very large annual variations. The reaction was very slow in winter and accelerates it very much in summer. The difference of the reaction rate between single experiments in January and in July reached 200 times. The acceleration of the hydrolysis rate in summer and slowing down in winter means that the influence of muons on water molecules depends on geographic latitude and can be different in the northern and southern hemispheres because of the rotation of the Earth around, around the Sun. One more important conclusion is that this reaction displays distinct diurnal variation because of the rotation of the Earth around its axis. In the morning, the reaction rate is usually lower and rises by noon, up to two, four times. And then it slows down again. Further measurements showed that the annual variations in the rate of this reaction are different each year and correlate with the, the variations in solar activity during the 11 year solar cycle. In 2016, a very large annual acceleration of this reaction took place again. However, the reaction was very fast already in April and May, and in December, the rate became low again. In 2017, a noticeable lowering of activity was observed. The difference between winter and summer rays became less pronounced. That year, another interesting phenomenon was observed. On August 21, a solar eclipse took place, immediately after which the rate of hydrolysis decreased sharply for five days. In 2018, the slowing down of the reaction became especially strong, and by the end of the year, the reaction rate decelerated unprecedentedly. In this year, four extremely sharp accelerations of short duration took place, which could be caused, for example, by the coronal mass ejections on the sun. In 2019, a further decrease in the rate of hydrolysis was observed. The summer acceleration was much less pronounced. Thus, the five-year measurements showed that the rate of hydrolysis every year has different annual rate variations, and from 2015 to 2019, a general deceleration of the reaction took place. This deceleration is in good agreement with the decline in solar activity in the 24th 11-year solar cycle, which ended in December 2019. In January 2020, the new 25th cycle began and the solar activity started to grow. This was also observed in the rate of hydrolysis. In the first five months, the reaction rate was slow, and then it started to grow intensively. These results convincingly confirm that the water activity is modulated by the 11-year solar cycles. 
Thus, the explanation of the water memory mystery consists in the fact that because of the dependence on solar activity, the ability of water to memorize the biological effectiveness of dissolved compounds cannot be steadily reproduced. It is only at low solar activity that water is capable of memorizing the structure of dissolved compounds and retaining their biological effectiveness. However, the official international verification of this phenomenon was conducted on the 4th of July 1988 when the solar activity was very high. No wonder that it gave negative result. At this time of the year, this phenomenon, this phenomenon just cannot be confirmed. Taking into account that water is the necessary constituent in all forms of life, the influence of muons on water accounts for such important biological phenomena like circadian, circadian, and 11-year rhythms. For example, it has been recently found that owing to the 11-year cycles of solar activity, annual growth rings in trees have different thickness and are arranged in 11-year sequences. The obtained results allow us to draw some more important conclusions. The ability of water molecules to self-organize is modulated by the 11-year cycles. Measurements of the rate of hydrolysis in different places can provide important information about the influence of space weather on the Earth. And the influence of the sun on water depends on geographic latitude. At the equator, such measurements may become an independent method for assess assessing solar activity. And this is all what I was going to, to tell you. Thank you very much for your attention.